Good afternoon, people. Welcome to my vlog, and I will be picking up something. And this will be posted on my social media account. Yes, pa. All right. <laughs> Just in case na may problema, customer service na lang. Okay, sige. Thank you po, Kuya. Thank you, Kuya. Ingat po kayo, Kuya. Alright, guys. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. And today, we will be unboxing my brand new IPS 144Hz gaming monitor pang online schooling. What? Ito yung first na investment ko na galing sa Axie Infinity. So, as you all know, uh, kasali ako sa Chase Axe Infinity. Yun po yung team ko. Dahil sumerdo na, ito na po ang nabili ko. Bago ko sabihin yung spec sheet ng monitor na to, uh, ang gagawin ko ay mag-unboxing na tayo. Let's go! Alright guys! So, Natanggal na po natin sa plastic and ito ang specifications nitong monitor na to. Um, this monitor has a 27-inch IPS display, 19 by 1920 by 1080p widescreen, then 16 by 9 ratio and 144 hertz po siya. And meron po siyang free sync and G-sync capabilities. Uh, ang connection niya is DVI, HDMI, DP, and VGA. Meron na rin siyang 3.5mm jack. And that's about it. Tara, tanggalin na natin sa box kasi excited na akong gumitin siya for online schooling. Ay, este, for gaming. Ah, tama pala yung nauna. Pang online schooling. Ko. So, ito po yung stand niya, guys. It's made of metal. It's not plastic. So, masasabi nyo matibay yung stand and super sturdy. And what we're going to do is going to assemble that and attach it on the monitor. So, yun guys. Nakabit ko na siya. Hand screw lang naman siya. So, hindi ko na kailangan gumamit ng Phillips screwdriver. Yan. Pinasa ko na lang. Ginamit ko yung uh, parang arms niya dito. Then, what we're going to do is just attach this to the monitor itself. There we go. Maki! Alapag ko siya dito. Again. Again. Tsaka mo niya. Tapos, napakadali niya lang ilagay guys. Kasi it will just snap into place. Just make sure na fit siya. Pasok lang natin dito and there you go. Tapos, so kapag gusto nyo naman tanggalin, ganun lang. By the way guys, this is also VESA mount compatible. So, kung gusto nyo siya ilagay sa walls or sa isang stand for a monitor uh, na supported ng 27 inches, then you can also mount this monitor. Without further ado, here's the monitor. Yan. And there you go, guys. It's so big. Lagyan na natin siya sa setup ko. Then, explain ko sa inyo bakit ko siya binili. Alright? Tara! Currently, here's my setup. I put my system unit over here. My desktop computer. My laptop, which is over here. And my HKC... 24 curved inch monitor na hindi siya IPS it's a VA panel curved siya uh, 75 hertz display siya tapos dito ko siya i-mount di ko sure kung kasya siya kasi sobrang laki niya pero ito try natin siyang ilagay dito here's the power cable and meron po siyang kasama display wow yung iba po kasi guys yung iba po ang kasama sa kanila is HDMI Ito po ay display port. So, sure na sure na 144 hertz yung ilalabas nito sa akin unit. Bago ang lahat, here's the satisfying part. Oh, yes. 
That's so cool. Another one. Yes. By the way, guys, this is RGB. Let's na natin. Next thing to do is the pair up. This 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 is the pair up. Oh my gosh. And there we go. So, kapag nakaupo ako guys, ganito siya. Ayan. So, isa-setup ko lang siya for 165 Hz. Identify muna natin. So, this is 1 and this is 2. Good. And then, go to advanced settings. Then, sa so display 1, ngayon, currently naka 60 Hz siya. Then, pwede mo siyang isagad ng 165. So, ito siya guys. Ayan. Here's my setup. Ito yung RGB niya sa likod. This is the subtle RGB. Here's my setup right now. Napakalaki po ng monitor ko. Narealize ko lang. Narealize ko guys. Super laki po ng monitor ko para sa table ko. So, probably I'll be buying a new table. Because, hindi niya kaya. Baka hindi niya kaya in the future. So, I'll be getting a new monitor, uh, sorry, I'll be getting a new table in the future. Pero for now, let's stay with this table and let's try some tests with this new monitor. If you want to test out your monitors, if you have dead pixels, um, you can go to lcdtech.info and you can start the test. So, ito po yung sa first monitor ko. Ayan. Ito po, meron po siyang backlight bleeding. Ayan. Backlight bleeding po yan. Alisin ko muna pa monitor ko. Ah, uh, cellphone. Ayan. May backlight bleeding po siya. Mas malala po yan pag nasa gabi. So, makikita mo siya kapag nanonood ka ng movie. Tapos, sobrang dark no scenes. Ayan. And here's the red, here's the green, and here's the blue. Ngayon, to test out naman natin, in my perspective, wala po siyang backlight bleeding. So, that's good for me. And here's the red, here's the green. Wala po ang nakikita ang dead pixels. And there you have it, guys. Wala po siyang dead pixels. Ah, okay, guys. Tapos na po tayo mag-unboxing. And I did some tests. Playing Valorant. Uh, yung tutorial lang muna, pero hindi ko muna siya uh, lalo rin talaga. So, it's made by Spectre Pro. And this is the 27GX IPS gaming monitor. Yes, this is 27 inches. Kapag gusto nyo magkaroon ng comparison between a 24-inch monitor and a 27-inch monitor, ganito siya kalaki. Alright guys, mamaya kasi tinatanong nyo, bakit kailangan mo ng ganyang kalaki monitor? Well, the, pers the purpose of this monitor, kaya ako siya binali, is for my online schooling or on my online classes. As you all know, I am a BSIT student and I do programming. And I also game. So, the purpose of this is both for gaming and also for programming. I did my research, guys. What's the best monitor for a programmer, for a developer? And it states that okay ang um, 27 or 24 inches above na monitor because malaki po yung screen niya and also ang kagandahan nun malaki yung makikita mo so when you are coding or you are programming ang advantages nun guys is makikita mo yung mga contents na maliliit like kapag nag-edit ka sa isang uh, developer or isang IDE or isang compiler uh, yun ang kagandahan niya guys 
kailangan mo ba ng two monitors? Well, ako personally, mas gusto ko ng two monitors. Ever since talaga, two monitors na ang ginagamit ko. Mas madali yung multitasking niya. Just transfer whatever you're doing to another monitor, you can still work on something. So, instead of using Altab as your go-to, you can use both applications at the same time. I bought this from ECTC. Guys, napakadali lang pong bumili sa ECTC and I wanna thank you ECTC for a fast transaction and if you want to receive your product at the same day, you can just pay 200 pesos for the shipping fee. If you don't want to pay 200 pesos, well, you can just wait for 2 to 5 days. Let's talk about its advantages and disadvantages. Advantages, it is big, it is very fast, it has a 1 millisecond delay. So, masasabi nyo sobrang bilis nitong monitor na to when it comes to gaming and when it comes to scrolling on your news feeds napaka-smooth po nung pag-scroll nyo or pag-flick nyo when you are playing competitive games. Another advantage of this monitor is it is VESA mount compatible. So, pwede mo siyang ikabit sa mga stands and also pwede mo siyang ikabit sa mga walls nyo. Sobrang laki po nung yung tripod feet niya and sobrang lit po ng table ko so probably it's either I'll upgrade the table or I'll just buy a mount for this monitor. Disadvantages naman guys, kunti lang naman it's very net, net picky pagdating sa akin. Tanned niya guys is made of metal but it does not have the flexibility to adjust its height. No worries guys, you can rotate this monitor upwards and downwards but sadly, you cannot rotate this uh, on the side. Lagyan nga nila to ng RGB lights for its back panel. And makikita nyo to sa video na to. But, I would say na sobrang hila nito para mag-reflect sa wall. And it's for aesthetics lang. Lalo na kapag uh, hindi to tinatapat sa wall or yung back panel mo ay hindi naman nakatutok sa wall. And kapag yung office mo ay nakatutok elsewhere so makikita mo yung RGB lights yun ang advantage niya pero for my setup hindi siya makikita so baka kailangan ko nilang kabita ng RGB lights dito sa paligid ng monitor so that's about it for the review of this monitor thank you so much guys for watching and I hope that you learned something about uh, why I bought this monitor for online classes and also for developing or in programming and I hope that you subscribe also like this video and comment na rin ng sana all if you really want to have a dual monitor setup anyways ECPC baka naman gusto nyo mag sponsor ng isang video but that's about it for this video guys and I hope that you share also this video to your friends and relatives baka pwede kayong merong mabudol na kaibigan baka lang daman guys Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been your host, Josiah Das Tech, and see you on the next tech tip. Bye guys!